From time to time we find these curious bones in the forest, usually discarded at hunting camps, the original owner having come to a bit of a sticky end. They're quite delicate and it's called a hyoid bone. We've all got hyoid bones, they go somewhere in the throat, about here, but ours are tiny and U-shaped rather than box-like, like this one. And it's the shape and position of my hyoid bone that means I can speak to you now. A chimpanzee's hyoid, for example, is much higher up than yours or mine, and it means they just can't produce the same sounds that we can. However, they're far less likely to choke. Uh, it's one of those evolutionary trade-offs that you could never call intelligent design. This hyoid is from a red howler monkey, a male, which means it's about as big as they get. And of course, what it does in the howler monkey is act as a resonating chamber to amplify low pitch sounds. Howler monkeys are very, very loud. You can hear them about a kilometer away, depending on the conditions, and they're howling to protect their territories and stop other males from coming in and taking over the group, which would be disruptive for everyone, not just the males. But it's the males that have most at stake, so they're the biggest and the loudest. And the bigger the hyoid bone, the louder they are, and crucially, the louder and tougher they sound to other males. But as it happens, there are several different species of howler monkey. And some of those species have different strategies for passing on their genes. Some of them form groups with more than one adult male, and they team up to defend the territory. But with those species of howler, they have to share the females, competing with their own group mates to sire baby monkeys. So what do they do to compete? They produce more sperm. And to produce more sperm, you need bigger balls. But with limited resources, you can't have everything. And if you want big balls, you have to give something up. And what those howlers give up is the size of their hyoid bone and the volume of their howls. The number of males in howler monkey groups is negatively correlated with the size of their hyoid bones and positively correlated with the size of their balls. Howler monkeys with the loudest voices have the smallest balls. And also howler monkey balls are bright yellow. This video was made possible by Rainforest Expeditions who host us in their lodges while we do our camera trapping and work on the Wired Amazon project. To hear more about that, subscribe to their channel here. And if you want to find out why howler monkey balls are yellow, thumb me below, subscribe there and hit the bell for alerts too. I need to make another film about monkey balls.